Hey, it's Pastis Prime here. Welcome back to Stellaris, where we're continuing on with our playthrough of the Knights of the Toxic God. Slowly getting through the story mode, or the quest for the quest for the Toxic God. Yeah, that's what it's called. And we've sort of reached our limits of where our star system can go, based on being surrounded by everybody. So we are going to be locked into this until we, or if we decide to fight anybody, we'll see. My main goal here is really to enjoy this, so I'm not in a rush to fight people, uh, unless that's what's required. But, you know, who knows? We'll see. We also have a ruined orbital ring, which would be good to uh, do a little bit of work on, if we can get to it. But first off, we've got to try and get something here. Um... But our science ship has disappeared. Now what I'd like to do, because this science ship is now doing nothing. So I think I'm going to rush him up to here. Start surveying the system. And this one here will continue down here. Um, and we're trying to get over here. I want to at least grab that. If we can grab that, that would be fantastic. So we might just leave these mines and go and do that. Because I'm worried these guys are going to come and grab this. Research complete. Okay, we have lasers now. Um... Look, we'll do that one. Construction completed. Hastily. Okay, go and do that one. Or we'll come back and build the mines. Or research. Whatever we've got to build later. I just want to see if we can grab this. A leader died. Yeah, we have a leader there. What? Construction completed. Hastily. Don't really understand that. Construction completed. Hastily. Okay, hastily go and build that one. Research complete. All right. Um. Okay, that could speed up our research again. Oh, hang on, that's 20,000. No, 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 no. Too much, too much. Uh, let's go coil guns. I'm not sure. I don't see any other ships, so they're not in here trying to build anything. So, I mean, that's good in that regard. I don't want to be seen as fighting somebody. Construction completed. Hastily. All right, let's start doing the mines now. Research complete. Um, okay, we can boost. Yeah, let's boost our energy credits. Why not? Singing Planet. What we first assumed to be a deliberate attempt at communication has turned out to be an unusual but naturally occurring phenomenon. The magnetic waves produced by the planet give, given proper handling and editing may sound a bit like talking or even singing but they are in no way created by a thinking being. Some of our scientists, however, find it quite catchy. It might be possible to make use of this phenomenon, possibly by hosting artists or VIPs at a station created solely to catch these signals and play them as relaxing music. Fascinating. Uh... Uh, 
Okay, there was obviously more than one research, wasn't there? Okay, nothing to do there. That is, these are unsurveyed. All right, let's go build the research there. Now, what I want to do here is that luckily is our last one that we can do. We do it now. Oh, God. Okay, green, 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 green. Here's some green. No. No. Uh, okay, we, what are we doing? Um, we're basically doing anomalies and stuff, aren't we? So, we could recruit you, but, hang about, we will swap you. And then you can take, didn't mean that, you. Okay, that seems like a better idea. Okay, so you're surveying. We've discovered an abandoned sailish solar sail ship in orbit around Yezna 2A. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of this ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. Okay. All right, so you are done there. So go quickly do this little short one okay so these guys can be upgraded all right we're still going okay being generous so that's fine Research complete. All right. Um, all right, we could move up to the star hold, or do we just go with the cheap? That's going to give us bonus minerals. I think we'll do that, actually. Why would we not? It's cheap, and it's good. Construction completed. Mm, okay, um, hopefully, we do have to get back to that one, but we might as well hang around here, there's no rush. Just check. Yeah, okay, so we got some bonus research there. From our anomaly. Our ships have been made. Bless off. Um, I'm wondering if we should check out what these people are and do. What do they think of us? We are a rival. Could we improve relations at all or not? We can try. I mean, I thought they were trying to be nice with us, but clearly... Do we annoy them by building here? Maybe? Alright, convenient mining. The asteroid around Gwila 1A has such a perfectly stable orbit that it's easy to understand why a scientist thought it was placed there artificially. Yet there are no conclusive indications of any propulsion systems or any other artificial marring. The only natural conclusion is that by some absurdly improbable chance, the asteroid got caught in Guala 1A's gravity field 
We have also detected some red crystals on the surface of the asteroid. How thoughtful. Added plus two to trapped asteroid. Okay. Yet we still can't do that one anyway. Alright, so now we're getting you to do that anomaly. An anomaly has been found. Wait, what? Were you not doing an anomaly? Wait, I'm confused. Oh no, you're just surveying still. I'll let you finish surveying first. Construction completed. Hastily. Okay, so here. Gotta put a disruptor in. Alright, we'll go with that. Alright, so now... You've both got... Yeah, okay. Alright, just do the anomaly. Hey, oh, I forgot we had a third one. Ah, oh, forgot! We will have to get rid of one, because we've got too many. Well, we'll get this all mapped out, and then complete. we're done. We could probably turn off that map of stars, too. Construction completed. Hastily. Yeah, that's too expensive. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's go with the armor. Okay, build a star base there. A whiff of something. The HRS color, whatever it is, has recovered an elongated metal box from the surface of Kana 5. Uh, clusters of small perforations on five sides lead science officer Aaron to believe it is not a container, but some sort of aerosol dispersal device. Initial tests seem to confirm the suspicions as trace aromatics still emanate from the, sub the object. A special project has been issued to confirm whether this might be an information carrying device constructed by some alien race communicating primarily through the secretion and reception of atmosphere-borne chemical compounds, smells. Maladorus. Uh, okay, special project. Oil f olfactory study, something the like that. The situation has been catalogued. Um, okay, there's another anomaly that you are obviously doing. Right now. Research complete. Okay, terraforming's done. Pop growth plus ten percent. Oh, I like that too. You know what? I'm going to do that one. As suspected, the asteroid B43H545 holds within it a great mass of metal and does indeed hide some manner of machinery. The gathered data clearly shows that its, consti what? its constituent parts contain great quantities of stored energy, 
but its purpose, purpose remains unknown. Uh, dispatch a drill probe to retrieve a sample or proceed carefully. Let's proceed carefully. Caution proved well in order. Hidden inside B43H45 was a host of old mining drones programmed to attack on site. Science officer Erin fortunately detected this early and was able to jam the drone sensors long enough to disable them. The drone's cores are old indeed, but retain vast amounts of energy for siphoning. Excellent. Research complete. Okay, got lots going on. Ah, uh, do, 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 oh, uh, research complexes. And we get another perk. And an ascension perk. All right. We are not going to become the crisis. Not again. We've done that. Not this time. Okay. Um... What was the other one I was thinking of doing that I thought might help us in the future or something? Or did we already do it? I thought it was something... Huh. No. Void board. Habitat... Habitability plus 20%. One vision might be okay. I don't know what that one was. Maybe it disappeared? Yeah, it's none of those. Alright, I'm gonna go with the... Uh, I'm gonna go with one vision. Oh, it was that one. Consecrated Worlds. We already did pick it. Okay, that was, that was the one I was thinking of. Alright, let's upgrade these suckers again. Right, what are we doing? They all busy? Construction completed. Hastily. You're not busy. What are you doing? Who are you? That is you. Right, research the project, please. You're heading out there, and you're doing that one. You are building a mine. Primordial soup. Nestled in sheltered pockets across Ensmar 2 surface is a rich sludge of sl simple organic compounds that our researchers believe could be a hotbed of ambiogenesis. The spontaneous formation of organic life from lifeless matter. En Ensmar's 2 has an unusually thick atmosphere for a barren world, which could make it hospitable for simple life forms, although this presents a unique opportunity to study what could be the early stages of the origin of life, it would be best to set our expectations low, as it may still be millions of years before life evolves naturally on Enzma 2, if at all. Fascinating. Okay, oh, so now we can... A whiff of something. The box is indeed a document of a sort. Science officer Aaron admits they had been hoping for a historical record of some other kind of codex significant to whatever culture left it behind, but they were disappointed. The true nature of the aromatic box seems to be a collection of fairly short narratives which, going by the rapid changes in odour towards the end of each sequence, are intended to surprise or be interpreted as comedic. The techniques used to store and reproduce specific smells is of some interest. But the tales it tells are not. The crew of the HRS Kalafti are left with the uncomfortable feeling that they have been they have unwittingly 
become intimately familiar with what certain gases, gaseous byproducts of alien digestion smell like. However, Erin is unwilling to speculate as to why the box was dumped on this frozen hellscape of a planet. Interesting. Okay, so. You are done. You're going over there. So, you can now... Uh, you know what? I'm going to get you to go there. You to go there. Are you done? And you to go there. <laughs> uh, let's just get this sucker done and then we can move on. Alright, you're building a mine. And then we'll expand to that and... That's sort of pretty much it. We then just have to work on what we've got. Construction completed. Hastily. Our ships have been made. Less awful. Okay, yep. Construction completed. Hastily. Research complete. Ah, that was the one we wanted. Okay. I, I think... Yes. Right, let's do that. Because we know we can get access to those. Our ships have been made. Less off. Comet sighted. A small celestial object with pronounced gaseous and particulate tails was recently observed in the Logra system. Its passing was uneventful. It is a good omen. Okay. If you say so. Visitor. The shroud can reveal many secrets to thee if thou art willing to pay the price. In the year of 2254, so the chronicles state, a holy visitor came to El Vorjakala, a figure shrouded in mystery of a species. Hitherto unknown to us? He called himself simply Hod, and offered us a bargain in return for a price yet to be named. He would send a knight into the shroud. From an entity within, the night would, at last, glean in the knowledge we sought. How intriguing. What could possibly be the harm in this? An anomaly has been found. Um, okay. It's pretty routine, so... Let's just do it while we're there. Okay, greetings, Carolines. You are now that we record and are dedicated to studying conservation of all forms of life in the galaxy. We have studied your species and determined that the Rattaval is unlikely to last for more than a few centuries at best. To ensure the continuation of the Caroline species, uh, should the worst befall your empire, we would like to acquire a part of your population for our endangered species preserve. We will construct a special reservation that perfectly mirrors the natural habitat of your species and its population will be well taken care of and protected from all harm, so you need not worry on their behalf. So what do you say? Will you contribute to our preserve and safeguard the future of your species? Wow. Um, okay, if we say yes, uh, a Carolyn Pop will be taken from your empire. Reckonant ancients will be pleased and may show us favor in the future. Surrendered our population modifier out of for 10 years, giving the following effects, happiness minus 10%. Or, Carolines belong in the rot of our sincerity. Reckonant ancients will be displeased. 
Uh, can we afford minus 10% happiness? I mean, if their intentions are true... I mean, they're a fanatical xenophile. Ah, uh, you know what? You can preserve us. Um, okay. Somebody else has contacted us. Oh god, they're fanatical military and spiritualists. Warlord Espard sends regards from the ruling council of the Numerian uh, polity. We hope for a productive relationship with our people, but we warn that our military respect our own transgressions near our space with maximum force. I understand. The Shroud. The Cesarus of Secrets? To delve into the mysteries of the Shroud, the Grandmaster nominated Knight Ari Lamanda with the Holy visitor's guidance she ended the unknown visions previously unimaginable flitted across her consciousness before an entity appeared the susurrus of secrets the visitor whispered this is being uh this being took a form uh ari lamanda could later only describe as a beauty beyond compare give us the scent of the first day of summer satisfaction of a challenge overcome and the warmth of a lover's embrace it spake then shall i reveal to thee what thou wish uh jesus of course O oh enchanting susurrus sure let's do it the price of a memory ari lambda felt new memories entering her mind Suddenly they, and indeed all, Karalians, could perfectly recall the very moment the toxic god unleashed its gift upon Camelon, even though it lay centuries in the past. As one, the entire populace of Rutteval High Cesarity felt a profound yet intangible sense of loss sweep over them. Formerly pleasant sensations were dulled, apathy spread like wildfire and afterwards it was hard to dredge up motivation for even the simplest of tasks. Despite this, the Order thanked Hod and praised Ari for successfully bringing back new memories from the Shroud. Okay, this will drive new recruits to the Knightly Order. The Order's Keep will now grant us one further night job. Low motivation modifier out of for 10 years, giving the following effects. Citizen pop, happiness minus 10, pop growth 10, resources minus 10, all right. Or, we shall erect a new mon monument on Camlin. Minus 1,000 unity, add a blight upon the land to Camlin with the following result. Unity from jobs plus 15%. Citizen pop happiness plus five, low motivation added for 10 years. So low motivation. Okay, so the negatives are the same regardless. But this one gives us extra unity and a blight upon the land. And this one just gives us the night stuff. But let's go. I'm going to go with the new, the lot, the night. Is that habitable? An anomaly has been found. Well, I'll be. Let's do that. Right, let's pause for a sec. Let's upgrade these again. Yeah, uh, we still need to bolster this um, one. I'm trying to keep my money. It's a vang. Uh, the signal we inter intercepted was a distress call from a ship in orbit around Apon 3. The ship is not giving off any heat signatures and seems to be drifting. A special project has been issued to investigate what has happened to the crew. This situation has been cataloged. All right. Let's just finish surveying something here, eh? A crew aboard the HRMS report that the Urgly Sea... Urgly... Whatever it is, Urgul Sea shipwreck appears to have been the result of an unexpected geomagnetic solar storm. 
the supply ship suffered a complete loss of life, support, systems, and sustained inoperable damage, drifting until it entered Urgel Sea's gravity well. There are no survivors. The ship's cargo hold does indeed contain a notable amount of minerals, however the captain of the HRS cautions that the construction indicates Gudjan design. It is highly likely that the minerals belonging to the Grudge Unity and they may be displeased should we lay claim to their shipment. We need those minerals. We will not risk an altercation. Alright, I'm not going to risk an altercation. I do not need the minerals that much. Yeah, no, no. Return the minerals to Gouge Unity. This will please them and increase our influence. Yep, let's do that. I am not taking the chance. Uh, okay. Colony development speed plus 50%. Yeah, let's do that one. What's the problem here? Resource storage full. For influence. Oh, cool. It's not like I can do anything with it. Okay, what's going on here? Construction ship is just waiting. Uh, okay. Orange scientist. Orange, orange. Not going to get an orange one. Um, right, we'll go with Spark of Genius then. Ah, it's the Grudge Unity. Oh, those guys. Oh, there we go. Carolyn's, we have reserved word of our down supply ship's cargo. We would like to extend our gratitude to you for taking the time to recover it without the need for grudge and intervention. Our pleasure, grudge, Gudges. Uh, 100 influence. Get one favours to use on Grudge Unity. Our ships have been made. Bless cool. Well, I'm glad we did that. I forgot it was these guys out here somewhere. An anomaly has been found. Okay, can we just leave it for now? I want to get this surveying done. Nothing's getting done. Survey wise. Research complete. Our ships have been made. Bless off. They got naval capacity. Let's go with the energy siphon. A system has been surveyed. Which system? Who's finished? Not you. Not you. Yes, you. Are you going to survey that? Now, if I want to build there. A system has been surveyed. Oh, okay. Timing was impeccable. Well, we'll build that one first. Um. Okay, change of plans. Research the project. You survey that one. Research logged and annotated. Special project completed. The ship in orbit around Apon 3 was not abandoned. The crew is alive, but not well. Influenced by some sort of brain parasite. With the help of our scientists, they could easily be cured. Help them, leave them to perish. Ah, we'll help them. Aliens have learned to speak our language. I am delighted to offer you cordial greetings from the Dimazanin League of Systems. We have built a peaceful system of government that operates under the supervision of a council led by coordinator Ratish. Clump. 
May your great species know nothing but peace. Xenophile, pacifist, materialist. Okay. Welcome. An anomaly has been found. Uh, where's that? Yugi. Okay, we're not going there anyway, so just do it. A massive crater on Ergly B1 appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. From the size of the crater, we suspect that a ship exiting a hyperlane at maximum velocity rammed the planet for reasons unknown roughly 10,000 years ago. The HRMS, uh, HRS has picked up residual subspace echoes near the crash site reminiscent of a collapsed hyperpart hyperparticle like part or oh, whatever field but as the ship in itself disintegrated on impact the theory cannot be verified remarkable okay research you know been surveyed. construction completed right see so what's done an anomaly has been found Research complete. All right, hang on, hang on. Jesus. Okay, we've got another planet. Well, we've got a planet here. Uh, yeah, let's do the chemical plants. Right, we are going to colonize this planet. Mm, okay, we can't clear it. I was hoping we could, but we can't. Uh, micro singularity recently intersected, uh, whatever that name is, passing straight through the core and emerging on the other side of the planet. The encounter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but it has altered the energy output of the planetary core slightly in a way that defies our current scientific models. Further study may be warranted. Fascinating. All right, why don't you go up here and help survey? And you keep doing what Research you're doing? Complete. Okay, we'll do that one, and then you, that's still way too expensive, uh, let's go with the afterburners, While unremarkable on the surface, the GF533547 asteroid has a hollow core lined with industrially valuable crystals, like a gigantic geoid hung in the stars. With special instructions prepared by science officer Vulvi, yeah, any future mining platform should be able to carefully harvest these crystals from the interior of the asteroid. Excellent. So you are done too. Unclaimed, unclaimed, unsurveyed. Right, they're all surveying. You know what? All go there and survey. A system has been surveyed. Uh, yeah, you do it. Hang on. So this guy's done. So we've got too many science ships now. 
Science officer Sena reports that uh, Enfripi is covered from pole to pole in a web-like network of electrical filaments. These networks respond to external stimuli. The HRS experimented with sending a low-voltage pulse to the surface, which resulted in a wave of illumination that rippled through the network like a circuit board. Even more remarkably, the webs rearranged themselves. A second low-voltage pulse revealed that the filaments had been organized into a new pattern centered around where the previous pulse had contacted the surface of Enfripi. Sena concludes that this discovery confirms her long-held theory that life can exist as almost purely electrical impulses independent of cellular or viral structure. Okay. So they are all done. So what we want to do Okay. Um We don't need the survey speed one, so We're going to disband that one. We just have one. You're 56. I mean, it doesn't really matter. 43. Alright, let's disband you as well. We'll have one. But what I'm going to do is... We are going to get you... Wait, why? Is that not my planet? I'm confused. Why can they not? Okay, what am I doing wrong? Because I'm right clicking. Usually that allows me to help research, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. Go over there then. Whatever. Okay. Building the star base. Construction completed. Hastily. You know what? I'm just going to grab them first. And then we can go and do the rare crystals. Research complete. Let's just pause for a second here while I see. Uh, let's get that one done. Research complete. Hmm, destroyer or star hold? Let's go with the destroyer. Okay, upgrade those. Our ships have been made. Less of. A group of knights just came back from a long quest. Their spaceships are battered and their power armors have seen better days. It was a grueling journey that yielded scarce yet precious insights about the toxic god. Despite the hardships endured, spirits are high and for they did not come back empty-handed. 
and their stories will make fine additions to the chronicles. Excellent. So where are we at? Oh, we're in four. Okay. All right, we're almost getting to halfway. It's good. Construction completed. Hastily. All right, just grab them all. Grab them all. Alright, let's go with the increased habitability. Construction completed. Hastily. All right. Let's build the mining stations. We'll now sort of, I guess, zip around. I want to get down here as well, and then we'll have to go back this way and get to that one there to get that energy. second I want to check this again ah there we go so we couldn't do it from a long distance but we can do it if we actually were in close it's weird all right uh galactic community uh, da, 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 da. uh shall we go for the galactic community sure why not Search complete. Basic combat roles. Okay, let's do that. I'm just going for the cheapest ones at the moment. Unless I see something jump out at me. Just go for the ones that cost the less research. They all help in the end. Well, most of them do. I'd like to do let's go and reinforce you coming transmission when credits pass hands at numerous smiles show us your wares not interested close your visual receptors now picture yourself on the back floating on the stream of energy credits towards a mountain of even more energy credits with our, and with our numeristic visualization techniques you will learn that there is no greater power than the power of mind. You too will be free of material desires and credits will be drawn to you like anthropods to dung. As always, if you need time to consider, we can notify you before we depart your territory, giving you one more chance to accept the go god goddess generous offer. Uh, plus one numeristic visualization edit. I have no idea what that means. 
Well, maybe we should find out. Blessings upon you, Carolyn's, for your business brings us closer to the goddess. Maybe it's a waste of time. Actually, that reminds me. We can get rid of that, because survey speed, anomaly discovery, ship hyperlane detection. Right, let's get rid of that. What was the... Here it is. The active use of numeristic visualization techniques will refocus our people's attention from personal gain to cosmic energy production to achieve something you must first visualize it. Last until cancel. Pop consumer goods upkeep minus five. Research speed plus 10. Monthly energy credits plus 10. It's going to cost us 59 unity. No, we bought it. Let's use it. What does that do again? Okay, so that puts us way over. So hang on, let's, what was that? It was minus 5 plus 10 plus 10. And what does this do? Oh, that's the priest one. Okay, we can, we can always turn that off, but let's leave it for now. I mean, we are spinning over our limit, but, you know, whatever. Okay, we're about to make landfall. Research complete. Destroyers are done. Uh, Corvette hull points. Yeah, let's do that. So, what we can do is also add a new ship. Okay, I still like to get a lot of Corvettes. Uh... Let's start with that. I, mean, I haven't built them yet, but an urgent missive from Polmar Prime explains that a number of new former members of Numeristic Order seek political asylum on the planet. The local administration has been see has seen fit to pass the decision of what to do with them up the chain of com a command. All may contribute to the Rotavul. Uh, you know what? We'll take them. Okay. Right, let's do that. Okay, somebody else has translated our language. Greetings from the nation of Zempek, Chancellor Skull, Kabloya is our elected representative, but in truth all citizens have a voice in our government. Oh, you're a hive mind, are you? No, we strive to better ourselves through technology desire, we hope. Excellent. It's a historic day. Several of the galaxy's prominent space-faring empires, including, have announced the creation of the galactic community. A great day for all. Our colonists have reached their destination. Yes, they have. All right, the galactic community is forming. And we have too much influence. Research complete. We're researching faster than I can build. Construction completed. Hastily. Research Tomb world completed. habitability. Yeah, let's do that. Hang on, hang on. Jesus, slow down. Slow down, people. 
Uh, auxiliary fire control. Yeah, that's usually pretty good. All right, so you've finished there. So... I'm uh, just going to queue up some things here. Going to queue up a lot of stuff. Then we can stop managing it. And... Uh, do, 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 do. And then lucky last... Alright, that should do for you guys. Our ships have been made. Less awful. Our ships have been made. Less awful. Yes, they have. Uh, how did we get another star base? Hmm. I don't know what that was awarded for. But, we're going to have to call there because we've hit the time limit again. This game, it goes so fast. So, if you are like the channel and you want to support it further, check the description below. There is a link to a Patreon site and a link to a virtual coffee site. Just a couple of options if you'd like to donate some money to support the channel. Otherwise, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give it a thumbs down if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do consider subscribing because that does really help the channel grow on youtube get found by more people get promoted by youtube and all that sort of good stuff that comes with more subscribers and more viewers and more engagement most importantly leave a comment below let me know what you think of the game let me know what you think of the toxoids and um have you done it? Did you enjoy it? All that sort of stuff. Obviously, don't give me story spoilers, but, you know, how did you go? Was it okay? Did you enjoy it? Or whatever else. Or are you thinking of getting into this game? Maybe you haven't yet, or you just enjoy watching it. Feel free to ask me questions or give me advice. Uh, suggest games. Talk about games. Talk about anything. Whatever you want to talk about, put it in the comments. I'm always open to a uh, chat in the comments. Um, I know it's not the easiest thing to do in YouTube, so if you prefer to chat some other method, let me know. I'm quite happy to entertain ideas of setting things up, Discord servers, whatever. Whatever you would like to do, if you would like to chat with me and be more, you know, have better conversations than what we can do on YouTube. Whatever else, just let me know. Uh, I read all the comments and answer every comment that warrants an answer as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.